fans welcome back to the imperial academy and today i have a really cool unboxing for you now i bought this figure on walmart.com and i thought i figure hey let me try walmart or target so i looked at target for this action figure um i did like the price but it was going to be here on june 12th which is you know this coming thursday or friday so I checked Walmart and this certain particular figure that I wanted was going to be here Friday. But unfortunately, it came Saturday, the day I made the video. So I am a big fan of the movie. And I'll be honest right now, before I show you guys the figure, um, I don't know a lot about this uh, person. I do know some, but I don't want to proclaim that... Uh, I know everything and I just wanted this figure because I found in love with it. Now, before I begin, let me show you guys a box for the Walmart because I seen some really, really bad stuff on Instagram. I'll post my link down below. And when Walmart packaged the, um, the Star Wars retro figures, they come bent, folded. Um, some card backs were just disgusting, gross. Uh, some other figures were you know like uh, the the plastic was bent in uh side of the box was torn i mean some really really bad you know stuff so i took a chance and when i received this package uh as you can see i already have it open because i just hate opening you know and it's just like you know let me just get it boom open it so which was really cool is the packaging came with the the bubble air plastics for the figure which was really really nice that they did that so let me go ahead and take out the figure now now when i seen this figure at target i fell in love with it and i'll tell you guys why all right guys so what we have here is the wonder woman multiverse dc and the Mark Far McFarlane toys. Now, Todd McFarlane is an amazing artist. They He has some really, really cool toys out there. I mean, from like maybe 20 years ago, uh, I think it was like Tortured Souls. My brother has those figures and those figures are amazing. It's like bodies ripped open, um, just grotesque figures, you know, just ugh. But um, you guys check those out if you haven't seen them. So, when I seen the trailer for the new uh, Wonder Woman 1984, I fell in love with it. I love the um, the first movie, but I also grew up watching the Wonder Woman series while the reruns in the 80s, early 80s. Um, and, and I loved it, you know, Linda Carter was awesome. And they did make a reboot uh, TV show, Wonder Woman, but they didn't even, I, think one episode was made but it was never shown or there was no episode made and they scrapped it and it was like whatever so Wonder Woman movie comes out fell in love with it I didn't care if it was a um a woman producer man producer as long as they did it right then I'm in and the producer or the director was just pff, awesome how uh, everything I love the whole thing about the movie um Wonder Woman 84, when I seen the first trailer, I was like, oh my god, this is so freaking awesome. Uh, Gal Gadot, I like saying her name like that, <laughs> Gal Gadot. Um, and then she came out, I don't know uh, what the gold armor is called, forgive me, but like I said, I don't know all, everything about Wonder Woman. I would love to. But when I seen the trailer um, with her with the gold uh, armor wings, and then she just, the wings fly back, and she's like, Phew. Is, I was like, oh my god, that's so awesome. And including where she's riding. I call it Ride the Lightning. Even she has her lasso, you know, going through the lightning and all that. And it's taking her everywhere. So I'd call it Ride the Lightning. When she was riding the lightning, I was like, holy crap. this! It's this, I'm ready for this movie now. Come on. Let's do it. So I seen the figure at Target. And I was amazed on the beauty of it. Um, it does look like uh, the character. But... You know, there are some different similarities. There are 22 moving parts for this figure, which is really, really cool. Um, that means it's really poseable and great for photography. So let me go ahead and get a better look at this. There you go. Here's the bottom. 
there's a figure. And I'll turn it to the side. We have Wonder Woman 1984 Golden Armor. Now I know it's Golden Armor, but is there like a, another word for it, guys? If you guys know, let me know. I mean, it's cool that it's Golden Armor. Hey, cool. But maybe there might be another, you know, name for it. I don't know. McFarlane Toys. And he's all, Todd McFarlane is also the creator of Spawn, which is a really great comic book from when I was collecting comic books. So here's a figure. Let's turn the back. Now, it'll be cool if uh, the helmet came off and all that. Now, it says each figure comes with a collectible trading card. And I'm guessing these down here, too. The Joker looks insane. I would love to get him. There's Batman, the animated Harley Quinn. Honestly, guys, I really don't care for Harley Quinn. Uh, it's just me. I guess, you know, all these cosplayers and... Everyone else just kind of tired her out right away, and I don't care for her. I would pick her up if I find it, but eh, I'm not that in a hurry. And then there's the Wonder Woman. I did see Batman, but I wanted to get Golden Armor first, Wonder Woman first, just because I liked her a lot. So let's go ahead and open her up and see what she has. All right, so I took her out of the box this whole uh, piece came out separate so we'll go ahead and look at the figure first she looks really really good I love the details on this figure it's nicely snug into the plastic there's also the plastic behind her where you guys are gonna have to uh, take it off so let's go ahead and release her alright so here's the face very beautiful uh, capture of the uh, face sorry I had to fix my light real quick so the arms open up and like I said there's 22 um, parts that move and I notice her feet also the front which is really cool um, I'm gonna so love this one I do some photography for her you can probably put it like if she's running um, I have a lot of ideas for her totally love this figure Good detail on here. Now here's where the two wings go in. Some really cool armor. Knees bend, elbows, wrist move, the front feet, which is cool. These open up, which is... Now, unfortunately, her uh, helmet doesn't come off. But that's all right. But if it did, it would be, um, I think her hair would probably be slicked back or so. It's a really, really nice detailed figure. I'm glad I got this figure. I really um, was hoping to get it because when I passed it up at Target, I didn't see it for a while until I seen it um, on Walmart. And the reason I, I, and actually I always wanted this figure when I did see it, but I think I started wanting it more when I seen the uh, trailer again. Get this out of the way. I just try to get more like that I can, guys. So just bear with me. Now, another cool thing is it comes with this plastic stand. So let me take out the wings real quick because I don't want to take out the whole kitten caboodle. So it's placed in the plastic right here, as you can see. There's a card. Oh, look at her, baby. Let's see, there we go. And then here is the plastic. Um, yeah, it's really inside a plastic and I don't want to take it out yet because I'm not going to have it standing. We'll see when I will have it. But check me out on Instagram. I'll go ahead and uh, take pictures and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and put the wings on, guys. Do you guys have this figure? What do you guys think of it? How many did you guys buy? Let's see here. I guess it goes like that. Another one there. Let's go here. Got to cram it in. Oop. 
Oops. Okay, so the wings. Oh, this little ball moves. So it's just cool. All right. So let me pop it in there. There we go. There we go. Oh, damn it. Here, I'll be right back. Okay, so I have her wings on. It's kind of a pain to put them in the little circles in the back. Um, but so far, so good. You can move the wings back and forward. But check her out. Man, I cannot wait to do some shots for her. This is going to be sick. There we go. There's the golden armor wings. Let's get a little bit closer. Totally, totally cool. So I'll probably watch the uh, Wonder Woman 84 trailer again for the 500th time. <laughs> Love the detail. It has a really great sculpt to it. I love the articulation. I love the 22 movable joints, which is really, really cool if you do a toy photography. Look at that. There we go. Damn. That's cool. All right, guys. Thank you for watching, and please comment, subscribe to our channel. We greatly appreciate it. And, you know, with all this craziness in this world, man, just stay peaceful and keep it mind. Just mind your own bees and wax. You know what? That, you know, family first. If you're a family man, if not, read a book. There's other stuff out there other than this craziness, you know. Got to keep your mind at peace. I love you, Jesse. I love you. I love you too, Gal Gadot. Subscribe to my channel. May the force be with you. <laughs>